Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create a custom brush from image in the app Highpaint. This is asked by one of my subscriber like uh, I want to create a moon brush but it has a black background so how I can uh, remove the background or how can I create the brush with the ba uh, black background but it should not appear as in the brush so that's the basic thing he asked so I'm going to create um, such an image with moon uh, shape as um, you know basic element for the brush and I will show you how to use that image to create the brush so here you can see in the first layer I'm going to fill the canvas with black color make sure you use 1 is to 1 ratio canvas whenever you want to create the element for the brush because when we are applying or adding the uh, image as the sh shape element for the brush it will be appear in the square shape so make sure you use the square canvas so that the details will not uh, get cropped so that's the reason here in this first layer i applied the black background and in the second layer i just created the shape circle with the basic ballpoint pen brush and here you can see using the eraser and shape tool uh, circle shape i'm just going to erase this part of the circle to create a crescent shape and click on the leaf option to fully erase the circle shape and here is the final crescent that we got both are in separate layer make sure you use the separate layer for the background as well as the moon and i'm placing it exactly at the center and making it big as much as possible because the size of this uh, shape that we add uh, and you know have an effect on the brush size that we create so here you can see this is the solid moon shape now i'm going to show you uh, how to create another uh, moon just switch on the lock transparent pixel for this moon layer and choose any textured brush here i'm using the medium charcoal brush and using the gray color to add a texture to the crescent and here you can see i'm applying texture which is not that much visible in the video now it is a little bit visible here you can see and i'm making it a little bit darker and adding few more strokes you can see the texture clearly now so now i'm going to add this textured moon uh, to the brush and I will show you both for the solid moon as well as the uh, textured moon. So save this as JPG as well. Now the element for the brush is ready. Here you can see this is the solid moon and this is the textured one. Both are with the black background. I am just going to use this brush, this element with background, uh, black background itself to create the brush now i'm just creating a new layer and going to fill with some different colors so that you can um, understand the variation and the details of the brush now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the default brush available in high paint the perfect brush which i use for everything is ballpoint pen brush. just what you have to do is click on this three dot click on the copy brush and choose the section you want to in which you want to add the brush here i am choosing elements and here i am just pasting that brush using the paste brush option now click on that brush and you can see the parameters and go to that shape and here is the circle this is the shape of that brush just click on that circle and click on this picture local picture and choose the gallery and choose the image that you saved recently at the moon here you can see i'm going to use this solid moon now but it has the black background i want to remove that to do that you all you have to do is invert texture click on that invert texture and here you can see the black background got removed and the shape become black color 
so now you can see it in white but this is like you no know, just use that inward texture and the back background will automatically get cleared now this is the basic ball paint pen brush and this is the moon brush that we created now make sure you increase the space to make it look like a moon stamp now increase the size of the moon brush and here you can see our solid moon is ready to use now in the same way i am going to show you how to create the textured moon brush now click on this here you can see you can also change the angle of the element or the moon using the angle option in this shape menu you can see it uh, just changed like a flipping it just changed its angle and this is how it looks now again i'm going to create another brush i'm keeping the angle same as it is before now just again i'm going to yeah before that i'm going to rename the brush as moon one and i'm going to create another brush that is moon two now go back to your ballpoint pen brush i accidentally copied the moon brush so okay let it be so i'm just copying the ballpoint brush and go to the elements section and paste the ballpoint brush now go to shapes and before that i just increase the space can do in either way just apply the image and then increase the space or increase the space then apply just click on the plus and choose the texture to moon that you have saved and same as it is you can see but you can also see some texture now i want to invert the color so just by clicking on the invert texture the black background got removed now increase the tolerance to have few more texture to the uh, moon like this you can see a uh, mini dots um, that is not that much visible in the uh, video but if you try you will get it and also to add more gradation in the texture click on the lighten option you can see once they switch it on the lighten the look of the moon is changed and it has some gradient texture so now i'm going to choose the textured moon and here you can see this is how the textured moon brush looks so you want a solid one with a black background image maybe you have downloaded that from somewhere and you want to use in case try this method it will work out and hope you like this tutorial learned new from me and here you can see i'm just renaming the brush and if you want to share this brush with anyone through uh, uh, gmail you can share using this share option also if you don't want this you can delete using the delete brush option so yeah hope you like this tutorial learn something new from me if so subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching